ChemDraw is a powerful tool for chemistry students as well as for the professional chemists. So let's get started with it and try to understand how does it work. Let's see the user interface of ChemDraw. This is not the complete user interface but you can see the additional features by clicking on the view icon in the menu bar. So in this way you can add different toolbars to the user interface. If you don't like the toolbar lurking anywhere, you can fuse it below the menu bar. Now let's add some other toolbars and fuse them above the workspace. The toolbar shown here at the left side is called Main Toolbar. But it's looking very messy so, you can delete the extra toolbars and adjust the toolbars you use more frequently. After customizing the interface we can now start using the software. Now let's draw some molecules, let's start with a simple example of acetone. I have shown the keys strokes here. Now let's move further by writing a simple reaction for acetone, let's try reduction. It's quite easy to copy something, just select it and then hold control button and drag it to the position you want it to be and then release the control button. Now, let's change the copied reactant molecule to the product, which should be 2-propanol in this case. Now, let's see. How you can insert symbols in the ChemDraw workspace. Note that you can only draw a symbol when the text tool is selected. I am labeling here the alpha and beta carbons in alcohol and ketone molecules using these symbols but the symbols are used for many other purposes in chemistry. Now let's see how you can convert structure to name. For that, you just need to select the structure and go to the structure menu in the menu bar. Then just click the convert structure to name button. Or simply press Ctrl Alt and N. Now let's see how to generate the structure of a molecule from its name. For that, use the convert name to structure button and write the name of the molecule in the dialog box that pops up. Or simply press Ctrl Shift and N, together to get the same dialog box.